All right, so in this video, I'll make this very simple 3D practice drawing in Fusion 360. And we'll obviously make it in the model workspace. So let's get started. All right, so I'll start with a sketch. So I'll go to this sketch and then I'm going to select this plane. All right, and then let's start with the cylindrical part. So I'll type C and that will start the circle command. Obviously, you can use the panel here and you can select the circle from this list. But in this case, I'll be using the shortcut. So C is the shortcut for circle. Now I'll click on this center. And as you can clearly see that the radius is 19. So the diameter should be 38. So 38 and enter twice. All right, so C again the same center and this time the diameter is 60 for the next circle and enter twice. Okay, that's done. Now let's make some construction lines for that. I'll go to L and I'll just click on the center point and I'm going to make a construction line of a random length here. Well, actually you can make a construction line of a particular length if you want. So maybe let's add 50 as the length and press enter that's our first line now this is obviously not a construction line this one is a simple line in order to convert this into construction you need to select this and click on construction now this one is a construction line we'll use it as a reference so let's type c click on this endpoint and now the diameter should be 16 and enter all right now once again Let's add one more construction line. So line, the line starts from here and the length should be 25. So 25 and enter. Again, select construction. Well, that's what we want here for this. All right, now we can offset this line on both the directions. So for that, I'll use O as the shortcut. So O for offset. Now select this construction line and when you offset the construction line, you'll get the solid one, not the construction line. So that's a great advantage here in Fusion 360. So now let's gonna just offset it on this direction and I'll add the distance of eight unit. And okay, repeat the process. So O, this line, another direction, distance eight and okay. Now let's add the circles here. Actually, they look like fillet in the real drawing, but we can just add it using circle. So again, C, but this time I'll not select center diameter. Instead, I'll select two point circle. So now on the sketch palette, we have all the methods which we can select for making this circle. And right now the center diameter is selected, but we need this one, two point. So I'll select that. Now I'll click here as the first point and I'll move in this direction, the leftward direction, and this distance should be 12. So let's type 12 and enter twice, obviously. So we have this one with diameter of 12 unit. Now I'll select the center of this and I'll make sure that this is on this line. So center, then select this line and make it coincident. All right. Okay. Now let's add the tangent line. So L, well, the line should start somewhere over here. So maybe we can just keep it like this. And here, obviously these two lines are not tangent. That's fine. We'll just take care of that in a moment. So now I'll select this line, then this circle, and it should be tangent. Similarly, we can just make it tangent. So this line and the circle, and there it goes, it's tangent. Now let's trim it. So T, the shortcut for trimming this, and I'll trim this part as well as this part. So one half of the drawing is almost prepared. Now we need to make the second half. But before that, let's trim the unnecessary things here. So we don't need this as well as this. Okay. We also don't need this or this. Let's press escape. I'll select this part and this part and I'll make a mirror image. So I'll go to sketch mirror. Now we have two objects selected. Let's select this mirror line. I'll click here and this is the mirroring line. Okay. This construction line, click on okay. And that's the mirror image, which we needed. 
all right so now our sketch is prepared and we can now convert this sketch into 3d now to convert this into 3d we need to first stop this sketch and you can do that using this stop sketch or you can also select this stop sketch option so i'll just click here for stopping the sketch now let's orbit this a little like this and now i'll go to this extrude option now we have two different cross sections that we can extrude we can extrude this and this part i'll start with this one so i'll select this now the height in this case is 12 units so one side distance and that's 12 so 12 and press tab key that's the preview and okay but the original sketch is gone that's fine we'll just bring it again here in the drawing so i'll go to sketches expand it and select this light bulb icon that's going to bring it back here so again extrude now this cylinder and the height is 44 in this case so let's add a height of 44 and okay and that's it a new feature is added now while making this thing i selected so i'll just go to this last feature here and i'll select edit feature now while making this i selected join option now that will ensure here that this one and this feature they're both joined together so if you want to make it as a separate body you can select that but in this case i recommend you to select join okay so there we have it now we need to make the next part here and to do that we need to select our plane first so i'll go to this sketch and well we'll select this plane here okay and that's the plane on which we'll make our drawing so for this case again i'll start with circle so c somewhere here randomly i'll make a circle with diameter of 28 radius 14 is already provided in the drawing so 28 you can use that again c the same center and the radius is 6 so the diameter should be 12 and enter so we have both the circles now let's go to this rectangle the two point rectangle and i'll make a rectangle here so i'm going to just go to this point i'll track it like this i'll click here and we'll just make a random one okay not very precise here and escape now we need to make some adjustments here so i'll select this part of the rectangle and the circle and i'm going to make sure that these two are tangent and they are now tangent the second thing is we need to ensure that the distance between this center and this center is 36 unit so you can find out that distance using the provided dimensions in the drawing so i'll just type d and this center this one and this should be 36 and enter okay we are done we similarly need to adjust the height here so again d the distance between this center and this center in this direction is 22 half of 44 this is just exactly at halfway height value here now we also need to ensure that this line is tangent here so i'll just select this one then this circle and i'll make them tangent again okay now that's it the drawing is fully constrained let's delete everything which is not necessary so we don't need this line here then trim we don't need this part of the circle and we also don't need this part of the circle now we can make these two tangent so i'll select them both i'll make them tangent now this is also a fully constrained drawing and we can convert it into 3d so once again i'll go to stop sketch and i'll orbit this a little bit and i'll select extrude obviously this one now this complete width is 32 unit and for that we need to increase that value that thickness value on both the directions equally now to do that i'll select this in direction and i'll change it to symmetric also i'll make sure that measurement will be of whole length and then add the length of 32 and tab look at that that's the preview on both the sides we have 16 unit distance okay that's it that's done now in this case this is cutting the original drawing which we don't want obviously we want it to join so i'll select join and now look at that we have a merged drawing which we actually needed here so now click on ok and that's it so we have the drawing which we need we just need to make one final groove here the cut that is needed and to create that cut we can select this plane and work on that so i'll select this plane and again i'll go to sketch and now we can start with a rectangle again so rectangle and i'll make this one like this all right 
Now I'll select this one and I'll make sure that the distance between this point and this point is 50 unit as provided in the drawing. So D. Now this distance from this point to this point is 50. All right. Now this thickness is 6 unit. So D again. This point to this point it is just 6 unit. And also this is exactly at the center which it is not. So let's just do that. So D from this point to this construction line it should be 3 unit and enter. Now here we have a straight line which we obviously don't need. We need a circular shape like this. And for that we can just get rid of this and now we can make a circle. So let's just make it here. Well we can just obviously join it with this too. There we have it. Again trim this part and this part we don't need. We don't need this or this part. And that's it. So our sketch is prepared which can be used for cutting this drawing. So again stop sketch. Let's orbit this. There we have it. Let's just use it to cut the drawing. So again extrude this as well as this one. Select both of them. Now profile plane one side obviously to the one side. In the extent option select to object and we want to cut it up to this one this plane there we have it so look at that that's gonna cut it exactly from this point to this point and it will cut both of these components and this is actually making a very clean cut as well because if you look at this drawing this is cutting the drawing only up to this plane that's what we want obviously you can change that and you can make a clean rectangular cut if you want but just by selecting the extended face option and that's going to extend the existing face up to this last one well that's not what we want we want to just cut it this one and this one here so we can select this option Although in this case, both of these options are providing us with the same results, but it's better to keep this option, the chain face option, because that will ensure that the cut is applied only along the faces here. So once we have it, click on OK. And there we have it. So that's the final drawing which we actually needed. So I hope you like this video. If you have any question related to this drawing, just let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to share this video. Thanks again for watching.